I'm going to demonstrate how to sterilize a glass hockey stick. Now, we're going to be using this procedure for anything that is not thin and metal like the inoculating loop, okay? because we can't hold this in the flame until it glows red, orange. If it did, it'd be too hot and you'd have to drop it. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip it into 98% ethanol and we're going to burn the ethanol off. Now there's some safety concerns with flaming hockey sticks, glass hockey sticks. We don't want flaming alcohol to drop back into the ethanol, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move from, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to move from left to right and I'm not going to bring my loop back open, back over the open container of ethanol. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dip it in, bring it in, bring it out. I can see where it's burned. Okay. Now, you'll notice that I put the lid back on the ethanol. The longer you leave the lid, the lid off, more ethanol evaporates and you get a higher water concentration. So, you want to put the lid back on. Now, you'll notice that I was really quick. I want to keep as much ethanol on here as possible. You don't want to shake off the ethanol. Don't do that. You go in. You go over, you come out, and you can see where it's sterile. Now, if you do drop flaming ethanol onto paper, that's a bad thing. Make sure there are no papers or anything in the area where you're going to be passing your flaming loop. Okay? Don't come back over here. If you do and you start the ethanol burning, it's a cold flame, and we'll just let it burn. Do not try to put the lid back on to cut off oxygen. This will start the plastic on fire. It's a hotter flame, harder to put out. Okay? 